What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the truth about drops. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen videos or heard information, people saying crafting is better, farming hunts is better, but instead of doing talking, I did a thousand runs and then I plotted all of the data so you guys can see what the current drop rates really are. Now you might be wondering, what's the point of this video, dude? Well, the point of this video in preparation for future patches, aka the patch on June 26th, a lot of you guys are wondering how you can be best prepared for the jewelry crafting system that's going to drop and understanding how the current drop rates are could absolutely affect your approach to how you're getting ready for the future content now granted in the dev notes they mentioned that they were going to be increasing the drop rate for the gear and after you see these stats you'll understand how that's absolutely mandatory for them to do so without further ado guys let's go ahead and dive on in so first what you guys are looking at here is the thousand hunt 11 runs what I wanted to do is Again, shouts out to Ganache. Ganache plotted this all in the grass because I have no idea how to make crafts. I just got the data. I did the thousand of runs. We tracked it all old fashioned style using tally marks in my handy dandy notebook and now that we got that there i sent the data over to ganache and he plugged it all again shouts out to ganache the dude is absolutely amazing he actually plots all our win loss ratios and everything for the guild wars he's our numbers guy so anyway what you guys are looking at here is a thousand runs now what i did is after i finished plotting the data any of the stats like let's say if i had 14 epic drops i just rounded it to 15. if i had 11 epic drops i rounded it down to 10. does that make sense so this 285 that you guys are seeing on 70 rare gear could easily been 283 or 284 but just for simplicity's sake so you guys can see this i figured the variance wouldn't affect it that much especially at the number of runs with the sample size of a thousand so we just did that for ease so as you guys can see this we got a thousand hunt 11 runs and out of those 1,000 runs, 285 of those runs happen to be 70 rare gear, so blue gear. 70 hero gear or purple gear was 190. 70 epic gear was 30 out of 1,000. Now, 85 gear, if you took that, was roughly about half of the drop chance for 70 gear. Now, when I look at this, this lets me know that we're probably going to have more floors. Hunt, uh, you know, Wyvern 12, Golem 12, Golem 37. You know, it's probably going to go up because... To be honest, like these drop rates are absolutely atrocious. And I didn't think so, you know, because before I was operating under the pretense of, oh, it's okay, it's all good, eventually it'll drop, it'll come when it's supposed to come, blah, blah, blah. But now after plotting the numbers, I'm like, man, these drop rates are terrible. So of these runs, like you guys can see, 85 gear drop chance is about 50% of 70 gear drop chance. So 85 rare gear was at 135, right? That's how many pieces. 60 for the hero gear, which is about a third, honestly, of the 70 hero gear. Now there could be some variance there, but we're just going to assume it's half right let's say rng was off our side if we wanted to be generous we could say the 85 hero gear drops at 90 pieces you know on a long enough time scale when it evens out but we'll just call it 50 percent and 85 epic gear 15 pieces out of a thousand runs crazy right so that's when i rounded up by the way so that one was at like 13 or 14 so we rounded that up to 15 just because why not okay and the mystic bookmarks as you guys can see were 60 of the runs regular bookmarks were 40 we can easily say that's a 50 50 split with you know some variants and then energy and crystals were about the same and powder for me was the absolute lowest powder was just one of those things i guess they don't want you farming too many mystic artifacts now they did mention that they were going to increase the drop rate just due to having such a shortage of gear and as you guys look at this you can start to understand now if this is a little bit too spread out my man ganache also did a pie chart so he hooked it up he put it in the percentages so to give you guys an idea let's just go to the stuff that you care about the most when you guys look at 85 epic gear 85 you have a one and a half percent chance let's just let's just be nice here and say you have a two percent chance to get 85 epic gear which is basically one out of every 50 runs in terms of energy costs that means you're getting about a piece of epic 85 every 1000 energy you're running which is about 16 refills which will cost you about 500 crystals so basically it's about 500 crystals for every piece of epic gear you own in your box insane right <laughs> so like currently the drop rates are pretty bad all right you know this is what they are if you're wondering like all right d so now that we know the drop rates are crap thank you for for dashing our hopes and dreams of farming floor 11 what's the point of farming floor 11 well the point of farming floor 11 especially in preparation for the future content patch that's coming on june 16th is to basically get crafting mats 
Now, Crafty Mass is the name of the game, and as I started to farm when I started playing this game, is I had this hunch where it felt like crafting was really the only way to get good gear. And the reason I say that is because when you look at your chance to actually get gear, you have so much better chance to get it. Right now, I feel like that your primary focus in preparation for the upgrade for the sanctuary when we're going to be able to craft accessories, the biggest thing you're going to want to do right now, guys, is farm as many crafting materials as possible, period. Okay, for whatever it is gear that you're trying to get. So for me, it's Banshee and A11. Right now, I got about 7K Azimanac 11 mats, and then I'm working on Banshee you right now and crafting is absolutely the way to go because the chance of you getting items after you fully upgrade your section 2 here your artist's furnace is is 35% chance for rare versus getting 70% of your drops being rare and most of them being 70 if you're farming 53% chance for heroic and then 12% for epic which is basically six times the chance to get an epic via crafting than it is farming which is absolutely crazy now again they mentioned that they were going to be upgrading this chance for farming in future updates so hopefully that's going to be coming on the 26 as well but as of right now the way that it stands your whole purpose of farming hunts right now is to get materials to craft and once jewelry unlocks you're just going to farm hunts even more now granted can you get lucky in hunts and of those 50 runs of those 500 crystals get that epic piece of gear that you've been looking for your whole life and be reunited with your soulmate absolutely but as of right now i wanted to do this so you guys can have perspective over what's actually going on behind the scenes as you guys are farming so with knowledge you have power and it'll put you in a better position to farm the gear that you need over time so now that you guys understand the drop chances for pretty much everything again i just hit on the 85 epic gear because i know that's what a lot of you guys are looking for out there when you're farming this is not to say that farming in general is just useless because you'll get a ton of mystic bookmarks the mystic bookmarks now when i calculated the mystic bookmarks overall i just factored in the six and the seven you know because you can get either six pieces or seven pieces if you guys are farming farming floor 11 so the mystic bookmark drops are still great like i got a ton of summons over the course of these a thousand runs that were good you still get regular bookmarks you still get energy and the offset from the energy and the crystals is okay but the fact remains that the epic gear drop right now is totally trash and your purpose for farming hunts right now is to get as many crafting mats as you can and everything else is a blessing now after they take this and i know they mentioned again that they're going to be improving their drop rate what i'll do is i'll do another thousand runs and then what we'll do is we'll compare the data from what we have now to future thousand runs and then we'll see how much they actually improve the drop rate so they're not just spinning our wheels now i know that they couldn't possibly put our drop rate anywhere close to what the crafting is because that would just be op imagine one every 10 runs you get an 85 epic gear but i would like to see this at least at five percent i feel like five percent is fair for 85 epic or you know <laughs> whatever future floors that we have but as of right now it's more valuable to farm mats and then treat everything you get as a blessing so you can stockpile materials for crafting because with this data crafting is absolutely the way to go especially as we pull close to the 26 update with the jewelry crafting system being implemented with the rates that you have with the 12 percent chance to get an epic and stuff like that once you upgrade your forge i would literally just focus on farming as many materials as you can and again if you guys are having a good day if you guys are getting lucky you guys are getting gear like be grateful because the reality of it is as on a long enough time scale <laughs> It's going to cost you at least 500 crystals per 85 epic gear drop, period, right? So it's it's pretty nuts. So hopefully with this information, this was able to shed some light on you guys. I enjoy doing the thousand runs and tracking all the data. Farming is a lot funner, like when you have a purpose in mind. So it was really interesting to see how all this stuff panned out. I did get some decent drops throughout the course of my farming like this piece of gear here and because I haven't really been crafting because I've been stockpiling mats but I have gotten some decent epic drops some decent epic jewels but again if you guys are looking at the math rate it's about one piece of epic 85 every 500 crystals and that's being generous it's probably a little bit more than that but you know so now that you guys know 
again i just want to give you guys directions so you know what to do with this data hopefully you guys are in there farming take advantage of the of the crappy system right now get as many crappy materials as you can so once the game shifts over to basically full-on let's go let's upgrade every single piece of gear in our box mode you guys are up and ready and prepared for it anyway guys thank you guys so much for tuning in hopefully this is able to help a lot of you guys enlighten you with some information that you guys might not have been equipped with and with that being said we will see you guys in the next video peace